Okay, so what I'm going to do now in this video, I'm going to compare the sound of my voice and of my guitar producing the same C as the previous video. So I'm going to record my voice first and then the guitar. Ah. Okay, so we can already see from the analysis of the overtones that here in the lower frequencies there is a very clear similarity and as we go up to higher frequencies the sound is very different so as you can hear now this sound is a bit louder so the comparison is not um, like it doesn't sound exactly the same but you can see that the first two overtones they really sound very similar so you can't if it wasn't for the attack of the sound and the amplitude you couldn't probably tell my voice from the guitar so well except for the fact that the guitar also has a more stable tone but in terms of uh, quality of sound of timbre they really sound very similar let's add one more overtone and it's still quite similar now this is where the, the difference begins beginning to sound slightly different from each other and now they're clearly different what happens in the guitar is that all the higher overtones they are they are present only at the very beginning and they fade very quickly so what is the sustained sound of the instrument actually um, uh, it's resonant only on the lowest frequencies so I guess that if we listen to the parts of the sound that are very different then we will have a completely different experience that's still clearly a voice and that's clearly a string whereas if we only listen to the lower parts, they sound almost the same. And that's a very clear demonstration of how the differences between one sound and another, one voice and another, or one instrument and another, really is all in the arrangement of the overtones. <laughs> 